This is River Trent in Newark on Trent. Now, I've been visiting this town for some time and I find so many things so interesting about this town. This town played a major part in the English Civil War. And during this time, this river was a major, major part of everything that was used during the war. So, the river played a major role in the defense of Newark during the siege of the town in 1645 and 1646. And this is why I decided to really focus on this river to understand its role in the history of this town. The area of land surrounded by two branches of the river Trent and bordering the town of Newark was an important factor and this helped during the Civil War. During the war, the royal defenses used this space, the space known as Newark. This place acted as the last bridging point and a vital link of communications during the war. And Newark became a key to the kingdom after the royalist forces, these were the forces that were fighting, had been defeated. The parliamentarian army and the Scottish army wanted this town so badly because it played a major, major role during the war. And the reality of the siege of Newark was worse and difficult for the attackers because it was quite difficult to understand today as in we could understand why it was so difficult but as at the time it was difficult for the attackers and that's because of the role the river played. The river was also used as a source of transportation of food, fish and wildfowl as it was the boundary between the north and the south of England. Newark stands out in history as the river Trent splits into two in this town. And that's the major, major reason why Newark was such a big part of the war. From Newark, the river is tidal up to 50 miles, up to Cromwell. And River Trent is about 185 miles total. And it is the third largest river in England after River Thames and River Severn. River Trent is the only river that flows north in Britain. And this is after passing through Newark. And the river can rise above five feet high and also travel inland to Lincolnshire. The river is a major important river trade route in the UK as it passes through seven major cities. And these cities are Stoke-on-Trent, um, Burton-on-Trent, Nottingham, Newark-on-Trent, Gainsborough, Stone and Rugeley. The river tra travels through six counties. And these counties are Staffordshire, Derbyshire, Leicestershire, Nottinghamshire, Lincolnshire, and Yorkshire. And the river has over 80 bridges across it, with the most, most famous at Swaxstone. And Swaxstone Bridge is about six miles out of Derby. It, is, it was made in the 13th century and it is the longest stone bridge, almost one mile long. But why this particular river at this point? If you look in the clip here, you will find that the river is just right next to Newark Castle. And going into history again, the role the castle played during the Civil War it's extremely important. So the river right by the castle was a major, major 
valuable asset. And when you go to Newark, there's so many interesting things in Newark where the river is one of the major ones. See, that's the castle in the background there. The river, the castle, the uh, St. Mary Magdalene Church, which I will feature in the next video that I'm going to show. And then the Air, Air Force Base. And one of the other biggest thing you're going to find in Newark is a famous market. Newark is famous for the 6th Annual Antiques Fair. And this draws thousands of antique hunters from across the world. It is held in Newark County Showground. At the fair, over 4,000 stalls are set up for antiques. And Newark holds this biggest antique fair, this show, which is the biggest in Europe. Now, if you see in the clip showing, you will see the gardens of the castle. There's a castle in the background, and across the river is the gardens. Look at these beautifully lawned gardens, all beautifully lined out. And during summer, you see lots of people sitting in the grass and just having their, um, just relaxing and having a time out with their families generally picnicking and just having fun right by the river so this is such an interesting place to visit it's a beautiful place to relax and it's a place to connect history to today i mean from some of the research i found out river trent is as old as they come it's apparently from the celtic period and this is way 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 back there's so much history to this place. And this is one of my biggest thing in tourism. To look at places with so much history and begin to relate that history to today. Now, when you visit Newark, you just see this basic, ordinary looking town. But when you look back into history, this town played such an important part in the history of this country. The castle, the river, the church, and and the the royal army. I mean the air force base. It, it's just mind boggling. And you look at, for example, this bridge you're looking at, and the river points. They're talking about the two points where the river meets in, in um, Newark. You just see. A river just meeting or you just see a river looking like that and you would not believe that this river was a source of livelihood at the time it's mind-boggling and so if you're someone who just wants to know a bit more about life looking at places like this really fills you up with intrigue and curiosity and it makes you really wonder wow so this is one of the biggest things i'm looking at in tourism bringing places alive making us see places beyond what we see today because there's so much more now another big beautiful thing about history is for me it tells me that there's so much more we can do with places it may look ordinary today but in the past it was absolutely brilliant and great so that tells me there's hope for us to restore it back to what it used to be. There's a possibility. And it also makes you think there's so much more you can do with what you have today. So that's the castle. So again, history of River Trent pulled out for you to understand. And apparently River Trent is the third longest river in UK. It is extremely beautiful.